no lead. What? I can use the Thanos snap to turn it into anybody I want. <laughs> what are you doing here? Wait. I was eating my ice cream sandwich. Where am I? Wait, wait. How did you turn into Ethan? Huh? How did you turn into Ethan? What? Who? Wait. Uh, I'm gonna go. Bye. Uh, uh, uh. Bro, what are you staring at? Let's start it already. Let's start the recording. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, this is Nolan here, and welcome to another episode of Danganronpa, and welcome aboard my ARC. Alright, so, I don't know what the heck you were doing, but whatever it was, uh, I am very appalled. Uh, so without further ado, let's, uh, get into Danganronpa. Keep eating your ice cream sandwich there, buddy. What okay. happened last episode? Oh, right, in the last episode, we, uh... Thank you. We basically um, went through all of daily life in this game, and uh, sadly, our dear friend Sakura is deceased. Rest in peace. Okay, uh, I am sorry. I, you're, you were not my favorite character, but you were a good one. I apologize. Anyway, so I better ch uh, yeah, I better check to see Monokuma file before anything else. The victim was Sakura Ogami. The time of death estimated to be around 12 noon. Okay, so we'll ne we're now investigating. So anyway. Uh, the body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There is evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. Monokuma files has been added to the true section. Okay. Okay. I'm getting my voice straight. Go ahead. I think the case this time might be a challenge. What do you mean? Why is that? <laughs> The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through, and that door had been jammed shut with the chair from the inside the rec room, which means the killer would have to have escaped somehow after burying the door. So if the door was blocked from the inside, and then there was no way in or out till we broke the window, there's like zero escape, right? In other words, in other words this is a classic locked room murder. Fred. <laughs> L locked room murder? I guess you uh, might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery movies or books or whatever. Uh, but but could it really happen in real life and right before our very eyes like this? Hey, are you curious to hear more about what a locked room murder entails? Nope. Sure, sure, if you don't mind. Darn it. <laughs> That's fine. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. Okay. The first type is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. This simply means that the murderer commits his crime, then through some special method, seals the room. Great, so that's literally the one that we're dealing with. This mainly involves the sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic approaches include using a string or simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. What are you, an expert on this stuff? So for that, all we'd have to do is check the door to see if that's what it was, right? Correct. The second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh. In other words... Basically, the killer uses a special contraption or tool from inside the target the victim inside. You push a switch and it fires a handgun. You shoot an arrow through a gap of the door, something like that. However... But in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school, and the door doesn't have any gap that would allow it. Yeah, I think we can probably cross that one off the list. It's true. The third type is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? In other words... They stay hidden, and when the door is opened, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. Oh, that's actually very smart. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else, and that's that. That sounds like it could have been possible, maybe. It's true. And the fourth and final type is when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. Not a locked room? Well, it wasn't. In other words... By that, I mean there actually is an alternate escape route somewhere within oh, the room. Oh, well, 
I mean, it wasn't actually locked either, but okay. You see this a lot in novels and things, but in reality, it's genuinely not possible. Then you think we can cross that one off too? Indeed. I believe so, yes. So, when it comes to the locked room mysteries, those are the basics. So, there are four possibilities. Then, Kyoko, which one of the four choices seems to be the most likely in this case? True. That's a good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during this trial. But right now, I can't really say. I see. The way the killer set up the locked room, until I figure that out, the truth behind Sakura's death will always stay, will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For Sakura, if nothing else. I have to do it for Sakura. I have to do it. So now, I have to do it. Alright, so we're gonna investigate, let's look at Sakura's booty. Body, I mean, not booty. That sounded, okay. Sakura drew her <laughs> last uh, breath, sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of the blow to the head Sakura suffered. Normally, I wouldn't have any problem believing that uh, that's what killed her. But according to the Monokuma file, she had also vomited blood. But I can see uh, a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So, what could have uh, caused her to vomit blood? Uh, I don't know. Bronchitis? A lot of things, to be quite honest. Yeah. Uh, the Monokuma file specifically said uh, she hasn't suffered from any other injuries. Like, bro serious, uh, status of soccer. Like, bronchitis back in the- Alright, maybe getting blood hit somehow caused her to start vomiting blood. Hm. Not a chance. But Byakuo! That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on the most interesting location. Interesting? Naturally. Yes, most interesting. Don't you agree? Uh, no, you're interesting. By looking at me like that. No, no, I don't- I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. Well, uh, 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 okay. Uh. Said, there is some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance of the room. So, it looks like a protein drink. And it's empty. Oh, well, she was obviously drrrr. Well, she, do you think that the protein drink had something to do with her vomiting blood? Maybe? You'll have to find that out. All right. Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. <laughs> and she mentioned more than once a protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Probably except for death. She probably just killed herself with all that protein she's been drinking. <laughs> no. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. Whoa, I, I mean, I didn't know that my... Jeez, I, I mean, I'm not an expert on protein or anything, but I, I would think that that's what killed her, dude. Like, come on. I'm just I know. But still, this protein can. It's gotta be labeled, uh, it's got a label on it, it says Chem A2. That reminds me, uh, Sakura mentioned how the Chem Lab, Chem Lab, I'm just joking, has all kinds of health stuff. So, she must have, uh, gotten this from the Chem Lab. Just a second. But that's strange. Well, what is? Hey, you see what's scattered around the can? Shards of light blue glass. They must be part of the window I broke to get inside. Oh, shoot. The crystal ball that Yasuhiro has. What? No, that's part of the window. Oh, wait. <laughs> Yashihiro's I'm, I'm, I'm thinking way too outside. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But they aren't scattered around the can. They're also underneath it. Why does that matter? So... I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. Somebody just, like, threw the cup and hit her in the head or something? It, just, like, threw the window? Hey, catch! <laughs> I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. I don't know what that means. Maybe... Alright, an important clue. I'm not sure to see how. I'm sure the chem lab has a lot to do with this case, though. Like, maybe the poison could be... Could be something else. I don't know. Any substance. Alright, let's... But for Stalker to have been killed... Y yeah, she's not the type to go down without a fight. That's true. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, drawn in body, mind, and spirit. So how was the killer able to get up the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. Certainly, they would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. Right, what do you have to say about this, Aoi? We already know who did it. Great. Byakuo, Toko, or Hiro. It had to be one of them. That's actually very interesting, because that's what I'm thinking, but... I don't know. I really don't know. They couldn't stand the sight of her. You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Uh, um, well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Then let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. What? Oh. Really? After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? 
Well, eventually she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me she said she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon? The Monokuma file said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth. I heard it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her. Oh my gosh. But she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, that she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stop her by force even, this never would have happened. Oh my... He Hina... It's impossible uh, to not have not to have regrets. I know. I always account has been added to. The Owie. I'm sorry. Okay. But the fact that she had asked those three to meet with her, but she uh, and she asked them to to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying. Uh, it might be good to confirm that I, uh, what I was just heard the three of them directly, or it, what I just heard with the three of them directly. Okay, Priyakio, what do you have to do say about this? What do you want? You're bothering me. Um, there's nothing I'd like to talk to you about. Okay, then don't oh. talk to me. <laughs> oh wait, my bad, something. Make right. it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? <laughs> so you found out. Interesting. Well yeah, I asked Owie! <laughs> Owie told me everything! <laughs> is that- is it- then it's true. I did receive a note from to that effect, yes. But what fool would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? Of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. <laughs> I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Oof, oof. Byakuwa says she uh didn't go see he he didn't go see her. Is that is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as a fact. Come on. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Oh, okay, thanks. Byakuwa's account has been added. So, okay, why is his account being added if he wasn't even there? Because then you know he wasn't there. If someone goes, Oh, Byakuwa was there! Like, ow! Oh, that's true. You just go, no, that's wrong. He wasn't I there. I know for a fact it's not Byakuwa. That's definitely for sure. That's gotta be it. Like, honestly. Okay, that same shelf full of magazines. There's all different kinds of magazines here. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. There's blood near it. Yeah, there is. Oh, what? What the frick? There's all four red bottles lined up on the shelf. Oh, frick. And inside each bottle, there's some Monokuma figure. An action figure? I want one! <laughs> uh, what I'm wondering is, how did they get those figures inside the bottles? So... It's no different from your standard ship in a bottle. Huh? You know, where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside. I don't- I don't always wonder how they do that. I mean, unless they just build- they kind of build the bottle around it, but that's very interesting. You've never seen that? I've seen that. Well, it's a glass bottle, so they probably, yeah, put- make a boat and, like, do some, like, mechanism to, like, keep the sand around it, and then it just, like... That's probably how they do it, yeah. Yeah, like, manufactured it, and it's a glass bottle, so... Oh, yeah, maybe I have. In other words... So this is the Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. Uh, okay. <laughs> A uh, Monokuma bottle? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at the shards on the ground. Why? Why Monokuma bottle? Oh, well, maybe this. Uh, there are shards of glass scattered all around the chair Sucker was sitting on. The glass is all red and, uh, these are the top and bottom sections of a bottle, right? So this must have originally been a bottle. Glass shards on the floor has been added. Okay, well that was obviously from a bottle then. Huh, there's something else on the ground near the glass. It's a figure if it fits in the palm- it, it fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Monokuma figure. Figure on the floor has been added. <laughs> okay, remember that thing he had with So far, him. nothing- Oh. The knight. It's a knight. Oh. They're all chess pieces. Right, right, right. I feel like I'm final- I'm finally starting to make sense of things, uh, figure- uh, little by little. Yeah. So he's holding a pawn, a rook, uh, I can't tell what that is. Bishop. A bishop, and a queen. King, king. Alright, the Monokuma bottle's sitting on the shelf. So the only ones missing are the knight and queen. Yes. The Monokuma files been, uh, we found on the ground. The red shards glass which probably started out as a bottle. Which would mean Sakura must have been hit in the head with Monokuma bottle, right? The shards of glass and Monokuma figure were evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say the Monokuma's bottle ha has the weapon. Was the weapon. Oh! Weird. Just a freaking Monokuma bottle was a weapon? Alright, this looks, uh, like some kind of wrapper. <laughs> huh? Ah, oh, that's... Oh, do you recognize Ihina? Well, well, yeah. I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a little. So you gave that candy to Sakura? I found a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like them. 
Oh, okay. Not suspicious at all, Hina. Actually, as soon as we could get back into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. Not suspicious at all, Hina. I'm sure. I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. <laughs> No, not greedy at all, Hina. Alright, you see, you really like them that much. But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now, they've lost all their flavor. Oh no! Hina, polka dot candy wrapper has been added to the- Okay, so far- I never knew there was an L, I just thought it was polka dot, not polka dot. Yeah, yeah. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. It must have come from- from Sakura's right, but that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? Magazine shelf. That's interesting. Well, I can already figure it out from just looking at this evidence. Uh, she came in the door. She was all drunk with protein. <laughs> she walked over here to the magazines and tried to pick up one. She got hit over the head with one of these bottles, and then some guy cleaned up the shards, put it over next to her, and sat her down. The end. <laughs> they would not be able to lift. I know. Am I close so at all, though? Like, did she come through this door at least? That's the only door, yeah. No, no, that's not the only door. She just goes through the locker. <laughs> she just comes through the locker. Oh, the locker. She just like phases through the wall. <laughs> she like <laughs> doesn't. Santiago. Santiago. Huh? The locker's open, and there's on the inside. It's a handprint. Why? What's a handprint doing here? It looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and it left a handprint in all uh, in all the dust. That's true. And it looks quite fresh too. I'd say someone was hiding here in the locker, and left behind a little something extra. So then... Maybe the killer hid in here until the locked room was open, do you, don't you think? And during the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group? Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Well, yeah, that, that would not make any sense. Huh? Why not? Freaking Makoto. Hey, think back. Before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, and the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So, so there's, there's no way oh. someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. Yeah, so then what does this handprint mean? Locker handprint, ba da 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 ba da All right, epic, 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 epic. All right, is there anything else for me to do here? Uh... Oh, oh, what, what, what this? The chair is shoved against the doorknob so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence of any kind of string mechanism we use in the chair. In other words, there's no reason we think the chair is anything special, don't- Oh. I like how it had that, like, flash as if something crazy was- he was gonna say. Wait, what? I can't click on the table? Okay. Certainly. Uh, okay. Oh uh, yeah, if you want to fast forward through what someone's saying, you can just use control. Like, do it- oh, like, just do it Oh, are you serious? Just okay, wait, let's try that. Okay. Oh, frick yeah. I ain't gonna do that during regular tech- yeah. Okay, yeah, I just want to try to leave now. What? No, oh, no. What? Oh, what? Wah, wah, wah? <laughs> Alright, let's examine her again. I don't know. Sakura drew her last breath sitting slumped in the chair. There's obvious evidence in the blah, 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 blah. Normally, I wouldn't have any problem believing that's what killed her, but according to the Monokun file, the vomited blood. And I can see... Freaking... Whatever. Okay, um... What? The door? What the... This door is only way out of the rec room. The door doesn't have a lock, so there's no evidence that the mounting is ever tampered with. The only notable change at the door is the got smashed window, which happened, of course, when I broke to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used in the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious. Hmm, having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt reason the door didn't open was uh, simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and door from moving, right? Okay, and there's no evidence from the door there was no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created the locked door from the inside, not from the outside. Rec room door has been added to the blah blah blah. Alright, cool. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. So then. then you should probably go talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't move. Listen to me. Which is why I decided you'll go in my place. She decided. She's decided? <laughs> uh, she's gotten a lot more pushy since uh, we had our issue. But she's right. I do have to go talk. Go talk to the others. Sakura wanted to. Didn't didn't Aoi just say she's a total pushover? <laughs> and now he's like saying, oh, she's very pushy. What? Okay. Sakura wanted to meet with the other two people. I need to hear what they have to say. Okay. Let's leave then. Let's see what the other two have to say. Toko and Hero. Hero. Those other two probably went back to their rooms. Great. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> they just like freaking open the door. What do you freaking want? All right, you idiot. All right, uh, uh, 
Oh, all the dead people, <laughs> except for her. And yeah, okay. Leon, Leon Trotsky. Let's talk to you first. All right, I just pressed the doorbell, ding dong. And after a few seconds, great. What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Yes. Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about soccer. I wanted to meet meet with you. How did you know about that? Could it be? What? Did you did you, uh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have you spe have your special abilities awakened in you? <laughs> freaking jeez, man. This is this is coming from a guy who believes in freaking aliens coming down and just freaking picking up his burger. <laughs> okay, but but I'm not the one who she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byaku and Toko to come too. What? W when did Sakura tell you that? Oh, well, well, um, when she asked me to meet her, meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Uh, yeah, uh, a note? She, uh, she gave it to me in a person, and she happened to mention to the others, like, in passing. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. Th so then you went and met with Sakura. No, no way, I totally didn't. You wouldn't, why would I ever do that? Yeah, I definitely, yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually, the last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt and took her to the nurse's office. I haven't seen her since then. While I'm here, couldn't you show me the note she gave you? Um, oh, um, do I still have it? Let's see. Hero was, uh, Hero was feeling around in his pockets. Hey, uh, sorry, looks like I don't have it anymore. Looks like I'll have to talk to Toko. Uh, with a big goof, with a, I thought he said with a big oof. <laughs> with a big oof and a smile on my face. <laughs> he, <laughs> just joking. Goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Huh? Huh? Uh? Uh! Quick, uh, quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, hey, sorry, just a bit of trash you forget to throw out. Trash? That's not just any trash. That's a polka dot trash. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, I can't but deny that Ogre asked to meet with me, but I, <clears throat> but I never went. So, well, if you excuse me. Before I waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. He did it. He did it. Hero said that uh, was just trash, but there's no way that's all there is to it. Pocket, pocket trash has been added to the <laughs> pocket trash. <laughs> Sorry, it just sounds really weird. Okay, any Toko here. That's Ifumi. Aww. That's so sad, man. Ah, there you are. All right, I pressed the doorbell. And after a few seconds, uh, okay. Oh, frick. Of course, she's gonna do that to me. Okay, go ahead. Oh, wait, sorry. Ah, the most negative aura I've ever felt. <laughs> Ah, that's me. <laughs> An aura of total decay. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, I want your soul. So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. Oh, it, yeah, totally seems like you were in a good mood. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. <laughs> hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously annoyed, Toko slithered out of, in, out into the hall. Great. What All right. Do what do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me or something? I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. What? Well. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Byaku already told me she had asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Master too? I just said two, didn't I? What? I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Two? <laughs> it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, can you tell me about it? <laughs> me? <laughs> me? I admit, I did get the note. But I didn't go see her. Her? I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm, Toko claims she didn't go see her, but... Obviously, somebody's lying. Honestly, I mean, why you always lie? Why you freaking lying? Lie. <laughs> Shut the frick up! You're a stupid freaking. All right, can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but accept it as a fact. Is that good enough? Then I'm going back to my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. Toko's account has been added to the. Okay, great. Okay, so I've heard from Toko and Hero. Um, what next? I'll definitely want to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I could find out more about the protein can we found on the floor in the rec room. I'm sure it must have come from the chem lab. 
So where should I start? Maybe the chem lab. <laughs> Obviously, right? <laughs> Pretty sure, right? Okay. Let's go to the fourth. Wait, where's the lounge again? Everybody is on the third. I think it's on the. It's on the. It's not on the first floor. It's on the second. It's on the third floor. Yeah. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it is. Alright, well, maybe the chem lab, or should I start back at the... You can do both. I'll go to this one first, then. Screw it. It's closer. Uh... Rec room. Alright. Hey. Uh. So, Makoto, how's your investigation going? My investigation? <laughs> I told Kyoko what Toko and Hiro had told me. I see. I see. So, along with Byakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. But that's- but it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Well, right. That's what I said. Someone's lying. Anyway... Well, I've made some progress of my own. What? What? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and the monokuma bottles. Great. These three things have revealed new clues. You'd do well to look at them one over one more time. Why do I have to do it? Just give me what you found! <laughs> Alright, let's look at them again. I think Kyoka said she found a new clue involving Monokuma bottles. Something new, something new. Hmm, perm. <laughs> hey. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention and you're sure to find it. Uh, it's red with a black cap and has a black and white bear inside. <laughs> A correlation. Um, well, the chess pieces, right? Hey, Kyoko, can't you just tell me what it is? So... I don't mind guiding you towards the clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. So, and it's now not just because you don't trust me, right? <laughs> Deja vu moment right there. No answer. <laughs> I do trust you to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Uh, only to a degree. Why do they? Why does nobody trust this guy, Makoto Nagi? I don't. Nakoto. Nakoto Egg. Nakoto Nageshi. I don't know. Uh, Monokuma bottle. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's N bothering me. Nako Makoto Nagagi. <laughs> Makoto Nayeg. Nayeg. All right. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. Nagaigi. You don't mind helping me, right? An experimento? An experimente? Anyway... Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken monokuma bottle? Try to get all the smaller pieces, too. Huh? Are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? that? doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And the obnoxious Byaku is not here, so... So then... Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. With that, Kyoko left the room. I really don't know what that was all about, but what choice do I have? I better just do it. I I took the broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. Great, ASMR of a freaking brushing up the bottle piece. Okay, and just as I finished up... Sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, right, okay. So then. Is everything ready? Now let's get to work. So, what kind of experiment are we doing? In other words... I got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? Hmm. The pieces of glass you collected and one of the Monokuma bottles that's still intact. Why Why you want do that? Why is Makoto so stupid? <laughs> no, Makoto Nagagi. <laughs> that's the point of the experiment. It'll, take, it'll make sense when we're done. Should I just talk like a baby in a baby voice every time he talks? <laughs> uh, yeah, you should read. Go ahead. First, let's compare the weight of the two of the normal Monokuma bottles. It's it balance. In other words, <laughs> which means each Monokuma bottle weights about the same. Yay! <laughs> Wait, makes sense. <laughs> the Monokuma figure is the uh, basically same, and nothing else. Yay! Could will affect weight. Uh oh. Sorry. <laughs> Stinky. <laughs> Stinky. Now here comes the important part. Ow. <laughs> Put all the pieces you picked up on oh, one side of the scale. Oh, 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 o
<laughs> Sorry, I'm not serious about this. Now, what might we expect to see? He just like freaking has. He just like mm, chomps on it. He glass. eats the glass. Oh, like oh. freaking Grinch or something. <laughs> the Grinch. Yeah, I remember that. Well, no more assumption will be <laughs> out the way. They'll bounce out the pieces I collect. All right, I'm done. Collector will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed from here and there. Baby. Okay, then let's give it a try. Baby Nayagi. <laughs> That's great, dude. It's a running joke in this episode, huh? A broken piece? Pieces? The broken pieces are heavier? Wait, actually, that's interesting. How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words, the results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles. Put it all together. Okay. And I believe you will arrive at one very precise, persuasive conclusion. You know what, Kuswaka Kuzin, I come up with? If I you, I can't pronounce Pufwafwiv. Alright, follow me. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's all on you. A Makuma Bowl experiment. Is... My grandma. My <laughs> grandmama. Wait, is that it? Is that all she wanted from me? There's the magazines as well, and. Oh right, yeah. Okay. Coco had all the magazines. Kyoko uh, said the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Hmm. Clue. Clue. <laughs> <laughs> huh? The magazine is upside down. Did someone put it back in the w uh, that way in a on accident? Hey, if something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. The this has toko on it. What? The one on the pages here, the center of the magazine, a word that's been written in blood, 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 bloody letters. Deja vu, right? Leon, <laughs> sorry. Flip it upside down and it says Okot. <laughs> which means Okay, sorry. Which means that, that the culprit is an otaku. Frick. <laughs> which means it's Ifumi. He's alive. <laughs> okay, sorry. It said it said and it said Toko, which means Akato. <laughs> Akat. Akat. Alright, could this be a dying message? Correct. Then it would appear you found it. Kyoko, is this so it is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. Right. Just like the other case, and the one before that. I don't know. However, a dying message. But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. Oh, okay. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it, for the benefit of others who might come with it. Um, hey, is that... It says Toko, right? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Then she's the killer, right? Owie's an idiot, man. Like, Owie. can she stop? Can she stop? Can you stop it, Owie? <laughs> she never shuts up. Like, she always just talks. I, I know. W well, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but you can... It's settled. She's the killer for sure. You need to talk in a baby voice for her. I'm just joking. It's the conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. Perfect. <laughs> Honestly, I finally <laughs> found my voice for her. <laughs> Did you? Finally! Well, that's great. That's what we're gonna I've been do then. I'm doing all kinds of voices, and I finally got it. I can see why you would you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me it makes me that much more suspicious. Magazine dying message has been added to the. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. What was the last thing? Uh, Sakura herself. Right. Okay. According to Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Just staring off into space isn't going to help you figure anything out. Uh, excuse me. I was examining the body. <laughs> Give me some space. Oh, frick. I spilled my water bottle. <laughs> right. Uh, well, well, yeah, I know, but, uh... Hey. Don't you think you need to actually examine the body? Well, no. <sighs> There's no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of, uh, <clears throat> touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. Ugh. It's the kind of thing I've grown pers uh, per perversely used to. Although there are still some times. I can't believe how calm you are no matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. It's true. That's totally normal. Then how can you? So... I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. She means in the school, right? When she's been examining Not them. before the school. What? What does she mean? What does she mean? What? 
sorry. Never mind. Don't you never mind me, Missy. Okay, hey. sorry. More importantly, look here. No, we were talking about. Oh god, that's a pee stain. <laughs> <laughs> her shoes. Uh. You see that yellow powder nope. on her? Nope. It's pee. It's pee. It's confirmed. Sorry. Yeah, it really stands out. <laughs> it really stands out. All right. It smells out. It smells it's too. Standing up. Standing up. Then pow that powder is clue number one. <laughs> My stuffing. <laughs> Yellow powder number one, just joking, has been added. Hey. Great. Next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. It's true. Actually, even telling you that, it's incredibly difficult to spot. Is it because her body, is it because her body's so big we're examining different parts of her body? Yeah. I mean, at least I didn't do that to Hifumi and fat shaming him. We're just buff shaming her. Just... Not even buff shaming her. I know. It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. Oh my gosh. Two blows? Well, I mean, that would make sense, right? Because she's pretty tough. Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of their hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either it's one. true. So that's what I've learned from examining her body in detail. Kyoko's ex examination summary has been added to the- Wow. I can't believe she was able to learn all just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. There, I finished examining all the things Kyoko mentioned, and I did some find some clues, but when it comes to the locked room puzzle, I'm still totally clueless. Oh, I just remembered. There was something I wanted to tell you. Okay, before that, I actually need to check the truth bullets before the trial, just like always, because yeah. that was that was a lot. <laughs> so, okay. I saw Byakua in the chem lab when I went to go get the scale. What? <sighs> I didn't want to deal with them, so I took great pains to sneak in and out without him noticing me. And, uh... So... If you haven't checked out the chem lab, you should probably do that, since I couldn't do it myself. Okay. You know, the protein can we found in the murder scene much, must have come from the chem lab. I think you're right. I should probably take a look around that area. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Let's go to the chem lab. <laughs> this, like, creepy music plays as we're, like, ap slowly approach it. You see Byakuya oh, peeing right. everywhere. Oh my god! He's, like, freaking eating it. <laughs> Wait, ew, oh. sorry. I'm just gonna cut that out, okay, guys? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah. Freaking throwing poop at you like an orangutan. Okay. Makoto, did you have your eye on the chem lab, too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think what you meant to say was, yes sir, I understand. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't say a thing. What a savage Makoto Nagagi. Alright, sorry. Uh, this isn't my first rodeo, <laughs> first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. It looks like three shells have been connected together to make one giant shelf, and there's the yellow stain. But more important right now, what's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? Why are you asking that? Like, I, I've already come to the conclusion that it was the same powder that spilled onto her shoe. I have to be careful not to step on it. Really, Makoto? Really, Makoto? He just freaking goes like, he just freaking <laughs> steps all over the. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh, there's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. I better not leave a footprint. Steps all over it. Great. Okay. So what's in what's in number door number A? Wait. Sorry. Letter A. Number A. Let's see. What's on the shelf? There are all kinds of uh, dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit, section A. Huh? But wait. But wait, there's, there's more. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. There's one bottle here that labeled Chem C9. Could someone have put it in here on accident? Okay. So, on this shelf is... It looks like a bunch of chemicals that I have no idea what they are. Okay, the end. They're regents. Put simply, they're used in experiments to bring out a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be bliss. I isn't that kind of harsh? What? What? You think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? Sometimes. The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. I thought we were working together <laughs> before. I don't know. I didn't even say that. <laughs> anyway, that doesn't matter right now. I have to focus on the shelf. I have to focus on this shelf. <laughs> he just like stares at the shelf until the announcements come on. <laughs> shelf. Okay, sorry. 
All the containers on this shelf are labeled with letters B and a number. So I guess I could consider shelf. This part of the shelving until section B. Um, hmm. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. I like how we were laughing at the dolly and now we're laughing at a shelf. <laughs> like, in which case, I don't think I have to worry too much about the shelf. He's just like, this shelf. <laughs> Byakuwa, shut up. I'm looking at shelf. Okay? He just like he's just like walks in and then he's just like shelf. He just like slowly closes the door. He just crawls inside of it. <laughs> like a contortionist Makoto or something. Just contortions himself. <laughs> <laughs> Slips inside of the shelf and just the door slowly closes. <laughs> you see him like looking, like peeking out, he's like <laughs> it's just the door just slowly closes on him. Okay, I'm done. I think I have to worry about the shelf. <laughs> okay. On the shelf is... <laughs> one look around, tell me something dangerous. Carol's <laughs> in, gets all the poison. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's terrible, dude. These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter C and the number B. <laughs> Wait. So I guess I consider this part of the shelving unit, section C. I should try not to find out more about this shelving unit. A shelving unit? It looks like it's a split in the three sections. Okay, Sid. <laughs> Section A! Oh, shoot. A dietary supplement. Section B is regnus. And Section C has diesel chemicals. I'm sorry. My nose is dangerously close to my butt. Oh my god. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from Section A. I'm having way too much fun. But what concerns me is that Section A was a bottle of label from Section C. Who was a bottle of poison from Section C doing Section A? Okay. There's definitely something going on here. Okay, great. What's going on in here? It just turns around. Wait, wait, check the bottle. Oh, right. I never checked that, huh? There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is that where the powder came from? It looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. Great. <clears throat> Thanks. Uh, then this powder must have been no, spilled. In other words, That's right. It can only have been around the time of the incident. If that really is when it happened, it must be related to the case somehow. Okay, great. Source powder. Okay, cool. Uh, I think I th that's everything. Yeah, okay. And then just talk to me. First, I have to check out this area. <laughs> Maybe check A one more time or something. Sure. The sneakers on the ground. What's on this shelf? Okay, never mind. <laughs> a what? There's a bottle. Okay, oh. check the the, Just the footsteps. Well, oh. oh right, yeah, I guess I could. These are footprints, and they're only in front of the, sh the left shelf. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. By we, you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer? With an insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. What a lazy bum. What? Well, let's go. Chop, chop. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I got to work, and before long, i drawn up a sketch of the room. Great. Um, how- so how's this? Not bad. For you, I mean. Shut up. For me? So, when you look at it like this, it's interesting. It would appear that whoever left the footprint only had business on the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. Huh. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be... Certainly Makoto, possible. are they yours? Totally, dude. <laughs> no. No! <laughs> what? Okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. I couldn't think of a reason not not to, so I quietly did what Byakuya said. I see. Your feet do appear to be too big. Oh, too big. Toko. Nah, just like... Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. Unfortunately? Hmm. But with how clear these footprints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. What does he mean? There's only one other person in this school that has sneakers. Hold on. Owie! <gasps> Buddy boy, don't drink that. I'm just joking. <laughs> these, these prints are really valuable clue. I should probably take a good hard look at that powder. Uh, here's There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. Also looks like some <clears throat> left the footprints in the powder. Interesting. 
Based on the po positioning of the prince, whoever it was only went to this left side of the shell. Okay, according to Byakuin, the powder would have had been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Footprints of the powder. It's a lot of truth bolts, just to let you know. Okay. Is it time? It's already time? Trial time! <laughs> if I wouldn't have been messing around, this, vi this episode would have been really short. Whoops, you caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? No. <laughs> Get out. Okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. Okay. <laughs> See you soon. Creepy. Stop doing that to me. <laughs> okay, is time already? Is it time already? But we're right in the middle of figuring out this locked room mystery. I'll have to try to tie up all the loose ends at the class trial. No, I absolutely will figure it everything out. I have to do it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I don't... I gotta go back to the chem lab. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me, ma'am. Oh, wait. That's not a ma... Oh, sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean you. Just, I'm, I'm drunk. Sorry. Oh, frick. Oh, I'm gonna die. Boom. Oh, was actually Wilfred Warstash. <laughs> oh, sorry there. <laughs> oh, wait. Am I actually allowed to walk around this part? Wait, what happens if I try to... Oh, well, never mind. Forget it. I already tried. Freaking frick. All right. It's time. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Monokuma. Monokuma made his announcement. Everyone began to meet up one after another. And then. Oh god. <laughs> the ultimate martial artist. A locked room murder mystery. Winky face. What? What the? <laughs> oh, I just recently discovered the power of emoticons. Like, no matter how awful something is, if you toss in a smiley face, it turns positive. Yes, okay. indeed. <sighs> it's alright. For example. <clears throat> For example, you're at the picnic and you find a dead body! XD. Freaking XD. This is just plain creepy. Well, and how about the reverse? No matter how great something is, if you put it on a sad face, it makes you look super negative. Yes, indeed. For example, do you ever have a hundred friends? <laughs> T underscore T. He's right. That does make it seem sad. Then please get on the elevator. See you all down there. I'm not reading that. <laughs> Freaking heck, man. What the hell was that? I don't get it. That's the worst. I don't get you guys. How can you act so casual after murdering someone? <laughs> don't look at me. I don't think I'm acting casual. Don't be mean. I mean, I don't under murder anyone. Yeah, I'm completely innocent. How dare you call me a murderer? Whatever! <laughs> Either way, the truth will be revealed soon enough. Because there can be no doubt, one of us is the culprit. The killer. The one that murdered Sakura. She was stronger than anyone I know. And yet someone killed her. And that person is here. The per that person is one of us. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's only six of us left. Oh my gosh, guys. I didn't even realize that. There's really not many people left. It's insane. After this trial, there'll be five people left. Oh my gosh. We're already... At, we're kind of close to the end. Sort of. We just gotta figure out. We just gotta beat this trial. Move on to chapter five go on to chapter six but that's it there's only six chapters of this oh uh, it'll probably take a little bit it'll probably take a decent amount of time though but uh but yeah right on to the trial already pretty sh short chapter if you ask me um yeah so next episode we'll do the chat uh the trial so uh hope you like the video comment down below leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next adventure of nolan's art when we figure out the fourth trial culprit Bye! Bye.